Hello there, uh, my name's John and um, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, or tell you about a picture that I believe God gave me earlier today. Um, so I was in a time of prayer and I uh, said to God, um, what do you want me to, what do you want to show me today? And uh, he showed me I was in a, in, a, in a desert, a really flat desert, and there was a horizon a very long way away. But on the horizon there were clouds forming. Uh, the clouds came closer they ballooned up into large rain clouds uh, and they kept coming closer and closer and they brought rain. They brought refreshing spring rain uh, on the land. The rain wasn't threatening. It wasn't a storm. Uh, and in fact, the, uh, although the clouds were large and clearly full of water, uh, see, the, the sun just kept shining uh, the whole way through while the rain was falling. The land uh, as the rain hit the land, the land immediately sprouted plants, large plants with huge broad leaves. It was like a jungle scene uh, and there, the horizon couldn't be seen anymore. And uh, the water was falling on the leaves and refreshing them, continue to ref continuing to refresh them. Um, so I said to God, what does, this, what does this mean? And he said to me that um, the spring rains will come and refresh the desert place. Life will spring up in abundance. I'll be ready for it as a challenge. The rain in the picture was clearly the Spirit of God and the purpose of the rain was to refresh. But uh, I thought God was saying to me, it's also to bring alignment back to the church uh, and to us as individuals and the land. Um, these, these plants, these large plants, the, the scene, the, the jungle scene at the end, that's how it should have been. That's how it was designed. That was their purpose. Uh, and the rain was coming to bring back the land to its uh, purpose, to its intended purpose, to remove a desert place. Um, this is what the rain uh, has, been, has been sent for, and this is what the land was designed to be. But God also showed me some desert that remained a desert. And um, uh, he said to me that where the land is water resistant, the blessing won't come. So we need to remove our waterproof coats and allow the rain to soak, to soak all the way in and to bring the life that God so, so desperately wants to bring. So my encouragement to you today is to not be afraid, uh, to open up yourself to the Spirit uh, and to, to allow him to do something new in your life. You were designed for a purpose. And through God's spirit, you can step into that purpose. It reminded me of Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. So let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. His going forth is as certain as the dawn. And he will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain watering the earth. 